Welcome, Scorpios, guys. I'm back, y'all, with another reading. I know y'all been looking like, dang, she been in my A. I have been, I've been having a lot going on with um, my business-wise as well as, guys, I just relocated. So I'm still trying to get, you know, a, a swing back into things, all right? So give me some time to get everything situated and together and I'll be back full time. Right now, guys, we're going to be looking into November. Happy birthday, Scorpios. All right, so let's get into it. All right, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter, whatever you have a Scorpio placement at, guys, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's talk. Thank you, ancestors, angels, and spirit guides. Please give me a reading for the Scorpio. What's going on with my Scorpios for the month of November? All right. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the magician. All right. So it looks like you guys are manifesting. All right. You're manifesting. All right. I do see some of you guys are like regretting some type of decision. OK, there's something I'm going to say this. Some of you guys could be trying to make someone regret a decision. OK, so it's like somebody could have did something to you or threw something at you. When I, when I say threw something, I'm mean like energy, push something your way or whatever and made you feel some type of way. You want the want to make this person regret their decision. I see the five of cups here. This is crying over spilled milk. This is regrets, okay, and a decision, okay. Some of you could have been juggling two people here. We got the Empress and that two of Pentacles here, and I see like a desire, a lusty type of energy here. Um, somebody could uh, have thought that somebody was single. Maybe you found out that somebody was not single. Maybe you found out that this person had a lover. Okay. We got the Six of Swords. First card out. The Hierophant. The Five of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Five of Wands. Page of Wands. Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Hermit. And the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so it looks like you guys got lost in the sauce somewhere, okay? You got the Five of Pentacles as well as the Six of Swords, okay? So I'm getting like somebody feel, you guys could be feeling like you lost your way. And you're trying to get back to where you were. Like I'm getting like some of you could actually be like at a distance from home. Maybe some of you are out of town are actually like, you know, getting direction, getting actual directions. But I'm seeing someone, I'm, I'm seeing you guys moving on from something. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Ooh. King of Pentacles. All right. So some of y'all are moving on up financially. I feel like with this five of pentacles here, some of you may have been left out in the cold financially. Maybe some of you have lost a job. Yeah, see, you've been being patient. You've been holding it down, doing what you could do. But some of y'all are moving up financially, okay? It's like the struggle period is ending for you. Tell me why the five of pentacles is here. The moon, yeah. I'm getting it like a lost feeling, like feeling down on yourself, feeling depressed or feeling sad on yourself. Um, yeah, we got the five of swords, feeling defeated. So there's something here about feeling very defeated. Um, feeling like you took a loss. Um, I'm hearing the song. What's the name of the song? I can't think of the name of the song right now. But it's definitely the energy of a bounce back, a bounce back, like a new beginning, a new start. It's like you get, you went through some type of period of this feeling down on yourself. Why is the moon here? 
the two of cups okay this could have been in regards to a, a connection or a relationship that possibly went down a drain okay so you decided to focus more so on your finances there was an offer an offer was on the table but the offer was shaky okay the offer was shaky this person was in and out your life um and you wanted the whole you wanted everything or they wanted everything nine of cups and the ten of cups so the offer there was an offer here we got the knight of cups the knight of wands could be with the fire sign leo sagittarius aries a water sign pisces cancer scorpio somebody wanted the whole thing the ten of cups the happy life the pick white picket fits the children um all of that but there's something a mystery about this there's something that's a mystery about this person about this situation it's a mystery yep there's that tower the tower came in this is you guys energy as well and the three of cups you may have found out about a third party you may have found out that somebody could be married there's that judgment a final decision you had to make a final decision why is the hierophant here the hierophant here is the challenge you could be dealing with the taurus ten of pentacles somebody here is married that's the challenge the challenge is a marriage. Yep. Maybe maybe you weren't sure. You didn't find this information out until now. Like this didn't come out the bag until now. You may have thought that this love was real. This love was true. Could be dealing with the cancer. Definitely a cancer. We got the king of cups here. But this love, this energy, I'm getting like a bad choice. And I'm getting regrets regrets here now this could be dealing with something in the past this could have just happened already happened we got the six of cups here why is the six of cups here you could be reminiscing on this like thinking about this why is the six of cups here two of swords you're not sure if you want to go back to this person you stood up to this person but you still feel defeated i see some of y'all still have hope for this situation Okay, some of y'all still got hope for the situation. Some of y'all have the two of swords here. Yep, that four of wands and the judgment. Somebody is married. You found out that someone is married. I see a big argument here in the past. Tell me more about the five of wands. King of swords could be with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but yeah. Hmm. Yep, that seven of wands. You had to stand up for yourself. That tower moment came in. That tower hit. That tower hit. And y'all aren't on the same page anymore. Yep, somebody walked away. Could be a Leo. We got the eight of cups and the sun. Somebody walked away. So now... You could be focused on your money, okay? Maybe you and this person was supposed to get married. Maybe there was a proposal. Maybe you were engaged to this person. But it's just like right now, you're not sure if you want to go back to this person. It looks like there was some type of quarrel. Could have possibly been in regards to a third party. Tell me more about this page of wands. Page of Pentacles. I see communication coming in from this person. Could be a Leo. Okay, somebody somebody comes in and they change their mind. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody comes in, wants to communicate, and change their mind in the near future. Ooh, we got the Nine of Swords. This is on your mind heavily. So this person is definitely on your mind. Like I said, communication is coming in. But, it's, but I feel like both of you guys are feeling like who's going to reach out first i don't want to be the one to reach out first i don't want to be the one to say anything first both of y'all are feeling that way this person over here wants to work things out with you okay we got three of pentacles they want to collab they want to come back together and work on this tell me more about this three of pentacles 
Yep, the star could be an Aquarius. This person still has hope. You got the lovers. They still have hope. They're spying on you. They do want to fix this with the temperance card. They're spying to see if you have other options as well. And they're spying to see if they can find out any other information about you. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign. Queen of Cups just jumped out in the Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. I feel like you really care about this person. I see the Knight of Cups here. You really care about this person. Like, you really love this person. And love, no doubt, is there. But I feel like you want, you want this Ten of Cups. You want this Ten of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles energy and this King of Cups. Okay, you want somebody who's loyal, you want somebody who's caring, who shows that, who isn't afraid to show that. You want this Ten of Cups energy where you have the white picket fence, the nice house, the children. You want stability with this Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles, yep. I feel like you want to give this person the offer, but you're, spot, you're watching them. So maybe you want to reach out to this person first. You're thinking about whether or not to reach out to this person to fix this. But this person is definitely willing to fix the situation. Now, we got the hermit. I feel like you're isolating yourself. You're staying to yourself. You're in hermit mode. Yeah, we got the sun here. Okay. You're trying to figure out what you would say to this person. How you're going to approach this person. Because this person could have uh, could be extremely mad with you. Knight of Swords. It ended, you know, impulsively. Got the Ace of Pentacles here as your outcome. All right, so the Page of Cups. Okay, so there is going to be communication. Okay, and guess what? This, the, the, the communication is going to be the Ace of Pentacles is a yes. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles is like... The best, biggest opportunity, an opportunity for you guys to communicate, an opportunity for you guys to hash things out with that Page of Cups energy. Okay, tell me more about the Page of Cups here. There could be talks about finances, you and this person coming together and, you know, being on the same page. I do see that you guys went through a break period with that Four of Swords. And then we got the Eight of Cups. So somebody definitely, I do see a break period, like you guys communicating about the break period. I feel like you guys are considering being the first one to reach out. I do see you guys feeling really burdened by the situation. Um, I see that you didn't want it to end like that. But somebody, you found out about a, a female or a male. We got the Empress here at the tower. This news came in like, what? It was shocking to find out that this person was playing mind games with you. The Magician and the Seven of Swords. So you didn't want to move forward. And that's very understandable. So you and this person are on a break period. Okay. So who's going to reach out first? This person is hoping that you guys can come together and work on it. Yeah, <laughs> you um, you guys are going to be in communication. I feel like somebody is going to be trying to stop. You both are going to be trying to stop each other from leaving, okay? But like I said, this needs to be well thought out because I do see third-party energy with the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So there is like a constant on-again, off-again thing and possibly thoughts or rumors or things of that nature in regards to infidelity. Okay, infidelity, adultery, whatever. Just sneaking around being sneaky. Okay. Somebody's thinking that somebody has options. Somebody needs to cut their options off in order for this to work. There's been some spying going on. And somebody has been gathering information. Okay, so be careful what you're posting on social media because this person is most definitely watching you, watching everything you every post you make, watching all of your likes, paying attention to everything that you share, reading between the lines, and they're coming up with their own assumptions here. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, if you're new, be sure to click the like button. You don't want to miss out on future videos. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading, I am 
currently at the moment having uh, running a sale for new clients. So if you are new, you will get a discounted rate for your first reading. Okay. Until next time, guys. Ciao for now.